Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Gobesi and I'm going to be showing you how to add highlights to a picture in Photoshop. So we're going to begin with this picture, um, making a new layer, going over to edit, then fill, and we're going to choose 50% gray and we're going to make the opacity 100% going to fill it with a gray. You're going to go ahead and put this layer to soft light. So you can tell that it didn't really make a difference, which is great because that's what we want to do. So you're going to go ahead and make sure that your colors are default. Press D if you're not sure. And it'll switch it back to black and white. So you're going to take your brush, make sure it's at 0% hardness, and we'll start the size off around 150, 125. Keep toggling it though. So what we're going to do is take the black and we're going to go ahead and lightly go over this and keep your opacity around 11% for this, by the way. Don't want to get crazy with the opacity so early on and flow and keep it around 70%. So you're going to just lightly go over this. You're going to probably have to go back and forth, um, deleting, not deleting, because that's what I like to do because I'm really paranoid about what I do with these pictures. So you're just going to go ahead and accentuate the darker parts of the picture and you're going to add black to them. And with the lighter parts you're going to obviously put the white over them. So first we're going to start with black. You're going to lightly go over all the darker areas. And for the more precise areas you're going to want to use a smaller brush. So again going over around the chin, really light, make sure it's not too dark, underneath the chin, and then we're going to switch it over to the white by pressing X on the same layer, and then you're going to go ahead and go over all the white areas, kind of have fun with this, but don't make it look like drag queenish because if you want that, I'm going to use a smaller brush for the nose area. And since the opacity is so low, you can just keep going over it until it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go over the white area for the eye. So basically any areas you see that are white, you're, you're gonna just make them a little whiter. Toggle back to the black. Make sure you're paying attention to which color you're using because you don't want to put the wrong color in the wrong area. Getting some white here. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add it to her nose. If it lo it's looking a little crazy, don't worry. We're not going to do it to this degree. What I like to do, oh, by the way, here's the before and after of how it looks so far. Which looks really nice, but we don't want to have it to that degree. So we're going to go ahead and lower the opacity on this entire layer until it looks a little more subtle. I like to have it very subtle, like not so you can tell so much. And you can go ahead and redo this, make another layer, a fill layer, and then go ahead and go over it if you'd like to add more. But this seems pretty good to me. And like to do it around like the lip area right here. Uh, we'll just up it at 44 opacity. The smaller areas. If you're you really want to be precise about it. And then white around the teeth area. Automatically just brighten up the teeth too. And yeah, so that's one way to add highlights to your picture. If you really want to get crazy, you could add it to about 60%. And that's kind of how it will look right there. So that is one way to add highlights to your picture.